Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to welcome you on behalf of the University of Pannonia at uh, the opening ceremony of this uh, magnificent event. E even if uh, this uh, ceremony takes place in the middle of uh, this uh, competition, but it's uh, good to see you uh, here in West Brim. Uh, looking through the program, uh, I had a had uh, the thoughts that uh, there is strong similarities to to the Olympic Games that uh, had just finished uh, last weekend and this competition. In the Olympic Games, uh, which uh, you probably watched uh, even uh, during the night for almost a, a month, there were several uh, sportsmen and sportswomen who, who take uh, their best to, to participate in, in this uh, uh, event and uh, to to win uh, the first uh, prize or or to be, to win medals and uh, all all of these sportsmen uh, devoted themselves to to get prepared for these uh, Olympic Games and in in, in some uh, respect they are all winners since they uh, put uh, all their efforts to to get prepared for for the competition. And even if they didn't uh, win any uh, medal, they, they can feel themselves as winners. And I feel the same for, for you. You already uh, put a lot of effort into preparing for this conference or this competition. You devoted uh, a lot of uh, time to, to, to get prepared and to hopefully to, to win uh, some prize at uh, this competition. So you are all winners. And uh, uh, since uh, you uh, could have uh, chosen uh, uh, other uh, activities, for example, laying on the beach or, or, or just sipping some uh, cocktails uh, on, the, on the beach, <laughs> but you decided to, to to learn and to to get involved in the in the preparation for this conference. And as I uh, looking uh, through the program of this conference or this competition, I, I saw that this is quite a demanding program. It lasts almost a week, and uh, I suppose that to get prepared for this uh, event takes a lot of effort from you. And uh, since you did this, you are all winners. And uh, what is required to for the competition to be successful. Uh, a good venue, I think that University of Pannonia does, and the venue that uh, um, the organizers uh, have chosen for this uh, competition is, is uh, wonderful. A good company, I think uh, you are all, uh, uh, all talented students uh, and uh, I mean that you can uh, get uh, good uh, make a good friendship here and uh, get acquaintance with with others get new ideas uh, for your future work and career and uh, the third is uh, a good weather which is also provided by the organizers uh, during this week uh, you will experience very good weather and you can enjoy uh, your stay in uh, West Brim and in uh, Balaton Armani and uh, Regarding the topic of the competition, is uh, very important for our institution. We are a regional university. We are uh, on the map of international higher education. We, we are on the list of international universities, ranked uh, sixth or seventh among Hungarian top universities, which is uh, good for a university of uh, a medium-sized university uh, like us. And uh, we are uh, very much committed to regional development. Science and higher education are no longer uh, the task of, uh, of uh, some uh, individual professors and uh, teaching staff. And it's not done in ivory towers, but uh, need to be utilized by the society. And uh, we are in the region where there are uh, different uh, needs for 
research and higher education. We, are, we have uh, deprived uh, regions in, uh, in, the, in the western part of the, uh, of the uh, country where we have uh, um, sites and we have the, uh, higher education activities. And we also have other uh, regions which need uh, development or innovations. And it is very important that uh, the university will be, be actively involved in, uh, in these innovations, social innovations, which uh, can uh, improve the quality of life in the region. And this is one of the main mission of the universities besides uh, research and, uh, and uh, education. And I think we are good at uh, it and we are striving for improving our abilities. And we are also here to learn from you, to get new ideas which can be developed into, into uh, projects and uh, can be accomplished in the near future. With this, I wish you a very successful continuation of this competition. And even if uh, you don't uh, get any uh, prize that we feel uh, uh, su it's successful, so I, I uh, wish you a, a good uh, competition and a, a pleasant stay uh, at the university and in Hungary and in, at the Lake Balaton. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for coming to West Spring, to university, our university, and thank you for participating in I6 project uh, coordinated by, by our faculty. Thank you for the participants for preparing for the work what they uh, turned on the preparation for the competition. Thank you for the jury for the participation, the evaluation. I hope you will be in trouble. You, they will cause hard times for you. Uh, and thank you for also the sponsorship, our main sponsor, Bayer Hungary, and, uh, which, and they offered, uh, Director Csaba Sós, they offered the valuable prizes for, for the participants. Innovation competition projects. I think these are the three keywords, I would say buzzwords these day, but they are not only buzzwords, they are very important in, in the present. Actually, they were important every time in, in the past also. There are many forms of the innovations and uh, at our university we often like to restrict this like for technical or engineering innovation, but social, marketing, and other business inno innovations are very important. I, I would like to give you two, two examples from the past of our history when, but it, it turn, became clear for me how important is that. About 15 years ago, we had a project, international project with uh, uh, Western European Consortium. It was before Hungary was the member of the European Union. It was about logistics, vocational training on logistics, what we are supposed to, we were supposed to teach and working out the teaching and, and training frameworks. And uh, uh, one task in the project was to collect uh, education and learning innovation on the field of logistics. And my first idea was, yes, innovation. Yeah, we would use uh, internet, multimedia, learning and others. And uh, one, our partners from Belgium, who are from Belgium, our partners from Belgium uh, brought a social learning innovation. Uh, there was a near Belgium, an immigrant community, and they thought that through to social innovation, they involved that quite close community into the learning of logistics and helping the labor market, helping the people. And that was the first, first moment when, when it it's opened my eyes that, yes, innovation is much more what I thought, thought before. So, 
it's uh, not only technical. The other is, uh, is the also when we work together with the town here, our students try to help the, the town of West Prem when they develop the transport inside the town. So our students really would like to, to involve and to create innovation. The other is the competition. Uh, I asked the rector, please don't tell everything them because I don't have. So please leave something for me. Uh, I think he, he already said everything, told you everything about that. Uh, I, my feeling also that everybody will be thinner, winner, nobody, not everybody can be the first ranked, but, but I, I hope that everybody will be winner. And also in that age you need adrenaline, uh, competition is a good feeling, good opportunity the, to learn from the teammates or from your competitors. And uh, the last, uh, last thought is the social innovation. Uh, as a university, we have uh, a social responsibility. As I mentioned, you uh, working together with the neighborhood, with the communities in the West Prim town or West Prim County, our society needs, needs the innovative solutions. So thank you for uh, coming. Um, in spite of the not the best weather in the last days, I hope that today and tomorrow you will have a good time here. You learn a lot and the left days will be much more better. Weather forecast is, is good. Still, we don't have innovation on influencing the weather, but maybe it's good. <laughs> Thank you again for your coming and participation. Yes, I'm Jody Jensen, a professor here at the University of Pannonia. I also do research at the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, but more relevant to today and tomorrow is that I was the regional director for an international organization that supported social entrepreneurship around the world. So I was the director from the Baltics through the Balkans to Turkey for about eight years. And so um, we developed a certain type of criteria and procedure to evaluate <coughs> social entrepreneurship and the projects of absolutely fantastic people from all of throughout this region. So I am extremely happy to be here, especially among a group of young social entrepreneurs, and I recommend that you check um, Ashoka, Innovators for the Public, maybe some of you have heard of them, because there is a lot going on in your countries and around the globe that you could um, come into with your project. So I'm very happy to be here. Good luck. So, Mrs. Jenji Wolf. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Mrs. Wolf uh, from the Heron Porcelain Manufactory, uh, where you have been, some of you have been yesterday to visit our porcelainium. I'm glad to be able here and see the presentations on behalf of the factory. Uh, my field of innovation is uh, making new porcelain shapes and uh, designs. I am the head of the product development at the porcelain manufacturing. Good luck for everybody. Hi, nice to meet uh, everyone. <coughs> uh, I'm from Hungary. Uh, besides, I'm a PhD student here in the uh, University of Pannonia. I'm leading uh, uh, innovation projects in the car industry, uh, which which do need uh, social innovation as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to hear your uh, presentation. And uh, good luck for you. Uh, and have a good time here in Hungary. Uh, 
good morning everyone. My name is Betsabe Perez Garrido. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, my field of knowledge is statistics and applied statistics. Uh, I wish you in the future uh, uh, good luck with your project. I think this is a starting point, but in the future I wish you uh, good luck with, them, with all of them. Thank you very much. Mr. Chabashosh. Good morning, my name is Chabashosh. I am from Westprim, from Hungary. I am managing director at the company uh, Bayra. Bayra is a German company. We are producing a lot of things uh, on the brand has and well being. I wish you good luck and nice day in Westprim. Mr. Yes. Bart Boylands. Good morning. I think I presented myself uh, three days ago, so you should know me. <laughs> I've seen uh, all of you working a lot uh, during the last three days and I'm very curious uh, about the results and I hope you not only stress but also enjoy a little bit uh, presenting your ideas.